All right, guys, you may not recognize where I am too much. Well, that's because we got a pretty big announcement, and I'll tell you right after the intro. Now, this has been a long time in the works, and I really want to preface this in the beginning is that I couldn't have done anything without Ashlyn. Come here, come here, come back, come back. This is a really big day for us and we wanted to document it and we want to show you guys something that hopefully will take this channel to the next level, but that's right. We got a shop now. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> Let's show you guys a little bit around, I guess. Here it is, guys. So if you guys want to know the specs, it is a 24 by 30 shop. I don't know the pitch of the roof just yet, but we'll get Ashlyn to raise her up for us. Got a few windows, ceiling fan in here. So this is a 24 by 30, so it is two bays right here. And one of the coolest things, there's two really cool things about this shop that I love. Let's see if the lights work in here. First of all, that's for us first. Oh yeah, lights work. So we are just moving in to the shop today. We're, I mean, not even really moving in just yet. I mean, this is gonna take, a, it's gonna be a long process. It's gonna take a few weeks to get everything in here because we have a bunch of stuff. We've got, what do we need? We need to do a whole garage tour once we have everything in here. But we've got your dirt bike, my dirt bike. Uh, two four-wheelers. Two four-wheelers, side-by-side, motorcycle. motorcycle. We got a bunch of stuff that we're gonna have to move in here. It's gonna fill up pretty quick, I think, in here. Yeah, we're gonna make this place look really nice. One of the cool, one of the few cool things about this place is if you can see kind of behind me up here, there's a giant steel beam. Now, this is actually used to be a full on like dirt track race shop. So this used to be, he used to run race cars out of here. We met the guy today. He used to run, you know, oval track cars and stuff like this. So this used to be a really cool old uh, race shop. And so it's kind of got some cool setup stuff that I'm going to show you. But the first thing being is this steel beam right across the top. Now it's connected to uh, a brace above one of the garage doors. And that way, if I ever want to lift an engine out or get an engine hoist or a winch and put it on our dolly right here, we can do that and lift, you know, motors out of cars super easy. The other cool thing is that it's already anchored and poured for a two post lift. As you can see here, we got five bolts coming out of the ground, which the concrete was actually poured deeper for this bolt. So both sides, you can put a pretty hefty uh, lift on it so we can do some oil changes. Another very, very cool thing is if you can see right here, it is also routed for air, for an air compressor. So the air compressor actually comes down right here through the wall, goes outside through this. You can hook another air hose up through that. And outside, I'll show you guys in a second that you can have an air compressor and that is so convenient to have in a shop as you guys will know we might we might do some rerouting here he's got a little speaker up there we might do some reorganizing and maybe do some painting on the outside but uh the lights are already pretty bright if you guys have been following along for a while now you guys know that i have the hex lights that we're also going to be hanging up in here because we want as as a space to film and a space to work on stuff we want it as bright as it can be but i am super excited i know ash is super excited too had it all in one place Yes, we're not driving to Kyle's and Jake's and all around the city just to, have, just to go ride the four-wheeler. So this is super sweet and it's just a steel building. Um, another cool thing that I do want to mention is if you see this little guy right here, let me go outside and I'll show you what that connects to. Before we go out too far, this is a interesting green and tan combination. Jake's already, you know, me and him were already kind of planning on painting it black because that'd be really, really cool. But you can see in here, this is where he had his the air compressor in here, kind of sits there, bolts down, hooks up right there. Nice little storage space, but also we got a little chimney. We're going to be putting a wood stove in there just to kind of heat and keep it heated in the winter and maybe getting the AC unit for the summertime because it's going to be an oven in there. But uh, this is kind of what it backs up to. Is this nice open field. And if you guys see, we got a little downhill right here. So we might have to do some jumping over the gate on the pit bike. Good luck with that. <laughs> but uh, it's super nice, you know, being backed up to this giant field just because it keeps it quiet. It's got an old little farmhouse over there. It's kind of cool. And we're going to be doing lots of renovations and changes to it, of course, documented on the channel because we're 
super excited over it. I'm so glad that everything's gonna be in one place now and you guys will have a space that you can see the actual MC production garage. The actual, this is the actual? MC production shed. The MC, it's not a shed, <laughs> it's a shop. Look at that, look how cool that is, that's so dope. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna get some cinematics of it, show you guys a lot around a little bit more too. Wow guys, I just wanted to come back on here and talk to you guys for a few more minutes just because of how special this this moment right now is. It really hasn't even hit me yet. I mean, the money's done, left the bank account. I mean, it is signed, sealed, and delivered. This is such a cool feeling and to have this as my last video of 2023, having this to work out of in 2024 is gonna be an amazing freaking journey. And I cannot wait to bring you guys along to follow this series of making this place right here this crazy big space that we're probably going to fill it way too fast this is it's going to be an amazing journey you know thinking back a few years ago uh working with brayden and then working with Haley, and you know helping everybody else grow their stuff and having and being in their space their garages their shops and then finally having one of my own is pretty surreal and really special. I've never had my own garage. I've never had my own shop. I, I've had, you know, I've shared a two car garage before, but I mean, that's hardly anything relative to anything like this. So to have something like that and to be able to have that responsibility of my own place is, is an insane feeling that I can't even describe. This is gonna be an awesome journey. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get some really cool stuff out to you guys thank you guys if you're watching this today we're going to be growing this stuff to the next level now and to have a shop to keep it all in one place is going to make it easier for me to make content because right now i mean i've got dirt bikes and the go-kart at jake's house i've got four-wheelers and trailers at kyle's house i've got a store two storage units right now to keep a few other dirt bikes and four-wheelers like it's just going to be all in one place and this place is going to get full so fast it's it's nuts if I haven't said it already, without Ashlyn, I wouldn't have been able to do it. She's an amazing, amazing woman. And to have her by my side to go through this journey and like create this space for me to create for you guys is, I'm a lucky guy, honestly. In the, in the beginning of the year, we're gonna make a lot of content together. We're gonna have some really good times here at this house. So let me go see if Ashlyn's okay with it. Well, let's, I wanna show you guys some of the inside of the house. I'll go up on the deck here. And this is our little backyard. We got some more storage right there, but there's a shop and there's a driveway. We can keep the trailer and everything right there. But yeah, this is uh, super freaking cool. Let's let's head inside and uh, see if we can show you guys inside a little bit. Ashlyn! What you got there? Cleaner. Cleaner? <laughs> you want to show us around a little bit? Okay. You down? Welcome to... MCPG Cribs. <laughs> we got a lovely kitchen here that I just sprayed down. Oh, that's strong. We got, we got, oh, got no fridge. Doomsday prep space. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we ain't got no fridge yet. We got the fridge is on the list. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, sweet. We got bedroom uno. Probably a guest bedroom. Guest bedroom. Oh, For, uh, Late nights when Jake's over here working on my stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's in here? A nice laundry setup. Oh yeah, we gotta so, get laundry. Miller's station of work. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. A giant bathroom for no reason. We might put a, um, we might put a twin bed in here if any of you guys want to stay over. We're gonna just be putting a twin bed. How in this. thick the base of the toilet is. Yeah, that's a thick. Uh, what in the world? Why is the toilet kind of weird, dude? It's so thick. What do you? How's the shower situation looking? Not too bad. It's the office. Is there MCPG office space from here over? <laughs> oh yeah, is that right? Oh, we might have a little bit of this wall. I think so. I think so. <laughs> then the Ashland office area. Then we got ACPG the space right there. Giant closet with all of that. No where all of my stuff's gonna go. No doors. No door. We don't need doors. The master bedroom. More closets, no doors. No more, no. And actually, oh my <laughs> gosh, that's going in. Yeah, this is cool little, 
it's a cool little setup. We're obviously gonna make some changes and make it our own, but we are really, really excited. Ashlyn's doing her little jig that I got on camera. And the living room's really open and really cool. And we got this cool little wall right here with all this wood. That actually is spiky, so we need to clear coat that and treat that. But uh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, we got a nice little living room space here. I mean, you know, you got the outside that you can't really see. Um, but yeah, Ashlyn's doing jigs. But we are super excited. This is gonna make everything so much easier being in one place. And I can't wait to take you guys along this journey. If you guys want to see some more house content, and we're going to be building, we're definitely going to be building the shop on the channel. But if you want to see, you know, us doing little DIY projects in the house, let us know too. So, but yeah, guys, stay tuned if you guys want to see anything else, you know, on the channel. Or if you guys want another tour, we'll be happy to give it to you. And I think I'm going to make a video of moving everything into that shop because that would be a really cool thing. And it's going to fill up really, really fast. We got a lot, a lot of toys and hopefully it will fit in there. So stay tuned. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. It has, it's not a too long one, but I thought it would be the best video to end this year off with. And I'm, I'm gonna have to end off the video with something a little too cheesy, but I'll see you guys next year. Peace out. Let's go find Gavin. What you got going on here? Like a call Don't overseas, out, man. just to fight yeah, with your mother. Out of Colorado just to kidnap you, but they did. They, 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 they freaking did. They freaking did. Sleep did. When I put on Big Brother, I was your best friend. You were the one. This is the one. Cooking, <laughs> cooking with West. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, they're still good. I let it happen. What have I done? See myself without you Close my eyes so I don't have to Watch us fall apart the hundredth time So I'll